Good day, dear pupil. You are welcome to the fourth week of our lesson. How are you? I hope you are keeping safe at home. Okay, shall we pray? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Spirit of light, enlighten us. Spirit of light, enlighten us. Spirit of truth, teach us. Our Lady Saints of Wisdom, pray for us. Saint Louis, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, you are welcome to a new lesson. For our topic, we shall be looking at chastity. Chastity. Okay? Under this topic, we look at the definition of chastity. What does the Bible say about chastity? We look at the meaning of changes in our body, the stages of human development, and premarital sexual relationship. What is chastity? Okay. Chastity is the ability to keep away from any sex-related thoughts and action, such as premarital sex. When you keep away from any related thoughts, words, or action, such as premarital sex, that is what is regarded as chastity. What does the Bible say about chastity? Let us read from First Thessalonians, this letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 7. For God did not call us to impurity, but to holiness. God did not call us to impurity, but to holiness. It means that God did not call us to sin, but to live an holy life. That's what that place is telling us. And that is the same thing with chastity. Chastity is like holiness, living an holy life that is a, living above sin. Okay, good. Let us also look at first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Chapter 6, verses 18 to 20. Avoid immorality. Every other sin Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the immoral person sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you have been purchased at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. It means that our body is not our own. It is for God and it is for the Holy Spirit. And so we should keep it neat. We should keep it holy by avoiding any kind of sex-related thoughts or actions, such as premarital sex, okay? Or premarital sexual relationship. What does changes in our body mean? Changes in our body or any form of development in our body does not mean that we are already full adults. Rather, it is a sign that we are it is a sign that we are growing, which we should be grateful to God for, for his gift and we should learn to be more decent and responsible in whatever we do. Because of any little change in your body does not mean that we are already adults, especially you as children. No, that does not mean that you are already adults. But it's telling us that to be more responsible in the way we live, we live our lives. Hmm? We should be decent and be more responsible. Okay. Let's look at this now. 
stages of human development. Now, after the birth, look at that baby. It started crawling. After that, it started walking. Okay, you are now a big boy. Okay, you can see how the stages of growth. You can see how it grows. Now, the way that baby that is crawling eats at that stage is different from the next one that is standing. You cannot say that the one that is standing is not an adult. No. But it is telling us that we are all growing. And then that baby, the one that is standing, before, when she used to urinate, you see her, she will urinate everywhere. She will not be able to say, Mommy, I want to urinate. She will urinate on the floor. You see, Mommy will go and clean it. Or she will wear pampas. She will urinate inside the pampas. Now, this one that is standing can now talk and say, Mommy, I want to urinate. Can now say, Mommy, I want to eat. If at this stage, if you urinate on the floor, you see, Mommy will carry cane and flog, flog her. The next one, look at this boy now, this boy. Hmm? You can see the third, the third one. This third one is different from, it, this third one has grown more, this third boy has grown more than the second boy. So it means that the way this third boy will be doing things, will be talking, will be living his life, will be dressing, will be relating with people, will be different from the second boy. Because growth has taken place, development has taken place. It can now reason better to say that this is good, this is wrong. So if this boy now begin to do something that is like, like that this first baby will be doing, then you see mommy will begin to get angry. They say, ah, what is wrong? Is this boy okay? Why is this boy behaving like a, like a, like a toddler? Like a small baby. You see? So development is means we are growing and as we are growing it affects our life everything it's not just as changes comes in our body so also changes comes in our behavior the way we talk the way we relate with people the way we dress but that does not mean that we are now full grown adults and so we can begin to do anything that we like no it is a sign that we are now responsible we should be acting in a decent way is that okay? Good. Now, as we grow, we start to value the presence of people of the opposite sex with us. We can be friendly with each other. We can work and play together, but not involve in sexual relationship. Are we together? Good. Now, you heard me talking about premarital sexual relationship. What does it mean? Premarital sexual relationship is any sexual relationship before marriage. Any sexual relationship before marriage, it is called premarital sexual relationship. This is a dangerous and shameful behavior. It is a sin before God. And it is called sin of fornication. Any premarital sexual relationship before marriage, it is called sin of fornication. So it means that marital, relation, marital sexual rela relationship, it is meant for people who are married. Those are the people that we regard as adults. They are married. Everybody knows that they are married and they are ready to be responsible for the children that will come after them. But if you are not married, that's why it is called pre. That is, it is before. You are doing it before you are engaging in a sexual relationship, before married. That is pre, premarital. So it means that you are not yet an adult. You are not yet mature. You are not yet ready to engage in marital sexual relationship. And that is why it is a sin. If it is inside the marriage, it is within the marriage, it is not a sin because union of man and woman, which is marriage, is a gift ordained by God. And we, we, we saw that in the book of Genesis, Adam and Eve. So it's a gift ordained by God. 
God. So it means that it's meant for only people that are married. Our parents, elders, teachers, churches will always teach us to abstain from it. The best solution is total abstinence. That is, don't even go near it at all. Because if you go near it, you may never come out. And that is how you continue to dwell in sin. In sin. Okay? Until after your marriage, when you are fully mature and ready to take responsibility of whatever gift of children that comes thereafter. So let me try it before my marriage. Let me see how it's going to look like. How does it even feel like? How does it even sound like? Let me tell all those ones. It is sign, sign of fornication. So the best thing is total abstinence. Don't even go near it at all. Is that okay? If you want to be happy in your life, don't go near it until after marriage. If a man loves you, Tell the man, if you truly love me, you wait until after marriage. No man will love you and tell you to engage in sexual relationship before marriage. If a man tells you, know that that man doesn't love you. After that, the man will leave you. So if a man truly loves, ask the man, if you truly love me, you wait until after my marriage. Okay? Wait until after our marriage. As children, let us know that sexual relationship is good because it is a gift ordained by God. I've said that before from the creation story of Adam and Eve. But it must be used well. That is another thing. Even if it is within the marriage, it must not be used anyhow. It must not be abused. It must be used well. It is only for adults who are mature and ready to receive and be responsible for the gift of children that will come thereafter. Okay? Good. Are we following? Now, can we see this? Before, in this is garden of, uh, uh, the garden, the garden of Eden. You see, this is Adam and Eve. Initially, Adam was alone. But God now created a suitable partner for him, which is Eve. You can see two of them there. So, two of them, they are now mature as husband and wife okay are we together good so for your assignment defines chastity what is premarital sexual relationship okay as we grow what does the changes in our body mean okay as we grow up what are the things that we should do Lastly, what do you understand by the sin of fornication and total abstinence? Is that okay? Good. Please do this and submit your assignment for marking. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without sin. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.